If you've been seeing red light panels all over your feed, promising glowing skin, faster recovery, and less pain, you're not alone. I'm Dr. Sonam, an interventional sport medicine physician here in Canada. I work every day with athletes and active individuals dealing with tendinopathies, joint pain, and muscle soreness. So naturally, recovery tools like this catch my attention. Today, we're diving into red light therapy. What is it? What the evidence shows for recovery, performance, and arthritis pain? how to use it, and what to look for in a quality device. I've actually been using a full body panel for the last three years, and I have noticed improvements in energy recovery and skin health. So I'm not coming into this as a first time user, but rather someone who's used this extensively for three years. Quick disclosure before we start, Juve sent me this panel for free to showcase on this video. They have also provided me with an affiliate code, which I'm gonna leave down below. Click on the link and use code SONUM for $50 off your first order. So what is red light therapy? Red light therapy is also known as photobiomodulation. That is the technical term. And it uses red light and near infrared light to stimulate the body's own healing response. The light is absorbed by mitochondria, the tiny powerhouse energy plants in our cells. It allows the mitochondria to produce more energy via ATP by upregulating the cytochrome C oxidase enzyme. Ultimately, it enhances cellular energy production, which improves blood flow, decreases inflammation, changes gene expression, and enhances tissue repair. If you look at the visible light spectrum, we see only a very short spectrum of light. Things like near infrared light are actually not even visible to the human eye. Most of the research for red light therapy focuses on two wavelengths, 660 nanometers, which is your red light, and this targets skin and superficial tissues. Then we have 850 nanometers, which is your near infrared light. This penetrates much deeper, reaching deep joint and muscle structures. The benefits of red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, are vast and include, but are not limited to, wound healing, pain management, muscle recovery, skin rejuvenation, hair growth, improvements in eyesight and myopia, and even improvements in neurological conditions. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna review the sport medicine evidence for the use in red light therapy. Number one, for osteoarthritis and joint pain. Number two, for muscle recovery and performance. Number three, for tendinopathies and soft tissue injuries. Now in context for those suffering from pain due to osteoarthritis, red light therapy has been shown to both reduce pain and stiffness in those suffering from osteoarthritis. While it is not a cure, it can be used as an adjunct to injections, exercise, and weight management. It is important to note that while it is not recommended in the treatment guidelines yet for knee osteoarthritis, the research is promising. A meta-analysis published in 2019 looked at the benefits of red light therapy in those suffering from knee osteoarthritis. Ultimately, in summary, the discussion was there was improved pain and decreased disability scores in those treated with red light therapy versus those in the placebo group. Even better was that there were no adverse events reported. Now the benefits in pain relief actually were sustained two to four weeks after the initial treatment was done and were seen up to 12 weeks after the treatment was completed. It is important to know that they applied energy at four to eight joules per spot and used wavelengths in the near infrared range. So your 780 to 860 wavelengths, which penetrate deeper in the skin. Pain dropped around 20 to 30 points in comparison to those with the placebo. However, if it was not dosed appropriately, so too little dosing, the effects were not seen. So proper dosing is very important for full effects. The key when using it, for knee osteoarthritis is you will wanna make sure that you are trying it for a period of six to eight weeks with consistent use before benefits are seen. In conclusion, low level laser therapy significantly improved pain and disability scores in those suffering from knee osteoarthritis. Now, what are the benefits in muscle recovery and performance? Low level laser therapy has been shown to improve muscle strength and also muscle recovery in athletes. It was particularly also dosed before and after in this meta-analysis and better effects were seen in muscles that were pre-treated before activity. It works by reducing the oxidative stress and inflammatory markers, thereby helping muscles and tissues recover faster. The optimal dose window seems to be anywhere between 20 to 30 joules per centimeter square. And they used both red light and near infrared wavelengths between 660 and 850 nanometers for this study. 
However, it wasn't clear whether or not combining red light and infrared wavelengths provided added benefit or if just infrared wavelengths were required. Overall, the evidence is moderate for the use of photobiomodulation in recovery and performance. However, it is promising and an interesting technology with very low side effect profile for those looking at optimizing their performance and recovery. The last area we're looking at is the use of photobiomodulation in tendinopathy and soft tissue injuries. A meta-analysis of randomized control trials published in 2021 looked at the effects of photobiomodulation in tendon healing. Overall, red and near-infrared light may reduce pain and improve function when combined with exercise therapy in those suffering from tendinopathy. However, the overall quality of evidence is low to moderate. It actually appears as effective as other adjunctive treatments for tendinopathies, including shockwave therapy and ultrasound therapy. However, further randomized control trials are required. The main mechanism by which this works is that ultimately red light therapy helps improve blood flow and decrease inflammation to stimulate a healing response of the tissues. There's also some evidence that red light therapy can help promote proper collagen formation, which is the key when it comes to helping to heal tendons and tissues. Overall, the evidence is strongest for joint pain relief, moderate for post-exercise recovery, and limited for tendon treatment. And while results vary, this isn't fluff. The science is there and evolving quickly. If you're thinking about trying red light therapy, here are four things you need to look for in a panel. Number one are wavelengths. Any panel you choose should have both red and near infrared wavelengths. So mainly 660 nanometers and 850 nanometers. This allows you to get the superficial and deep benefits of the photobiomodulation therapy. Number two, that it has a verified power output. Too little does nothing and too much is not good. You can get a biphasic response. What many people don't know is too much red light can actually inhibit mitochondrial function then giving you the opposite effect of what you're looking for. Number three, that it is third-party safety tested. So always make sure that you look for certifications that the device has been tested, has low EMFs and low flicker response. Usually most companies that are reputable, reputable in the space will have information about this. Number four, the treatment area. So if you're looking at spot treating areas, a small panel like the Juve panel will be great for you. However, if you have multiple different areas you'd like to treat, a whole body panel may be more appropriate. For me, Juve checks all the boxes. They were first to market in 2016 and their panels are thoroughly safety tested, medical grade, used by professional teams. They offer both 850 and 660 nanometer wavelengths, which are red light and near infrared light. So they will target the superficial tissues like your face, as well as the deeper tissues, such as muscles, tendons, and joints. They do have a variety of different panels. This here is a small handheld panel. So this one here, I'll show you quickly how it works. But this is the panel right here. So you would actually apply it spot treat different areas, but they do have full body panels for those looking for full treatment as well. But whatever brand that you go for, make sure it has rigorous safety testing. It is medical grade and is giving you the therapeutic wavelengths required, both red light and near infrared wavelengths. Here's how to use a red light therapy device safely and effectively. You wanna keep the device about six to 12 inches away from the treatment area, and the treatment time will be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. On average, it is recommended that the treatments will proceed three to five times a week, so you don't need to treat yourself every day. It can be used both before and after activity, and for those suffering from pain, it can be used at any point in time to treat painful areas in the body. For arthritis and tendinitis, you would want to treat those specific areas of pain. So if you were using a small panel and you had an Achilles tendinitis, you would apply this behind your Achilles tendon. If you had a full body panel, then you would just merely stand with your back against the panel and get the treatment along the entire back part of the body. The key is to stay consistent for four to six weeks before true benefits are seen. So I've been using a red light panel for approximately three years. I have a full body panel. I have also extensively used the Juve Go panel for spot treatments. And what I can say is I've noticed an improvement in cognition, brain function, muscle recovery, and soreness post-exercise, and also treatment for painful tendons and joints. So while the science is still evolving, my personal experiences are quite beneficial. And this is a device that I do recommend to patients who come to me with a joint pain, tendon pain as an adjunct to their treatment. Is it a placebo? Maybe, but I find that there is enough evidence around this with such limited side effects that it is a safe and effective option for the majority of patients that I see. 
I also like that it's quick, quiet, and doesn't interfere with my current training protocols. However, it's not going to replace proper nutrition, mobility, and strength training. This is used as an adjunctive treatment in addition to a healthy lifestyle. So I've been talking about red light therapy being relatively safe, but there are some precautions you should be aware of. You would want to avoid steering directly into the lights and most red light therapy manufacturers will ship their product with a pair of goggles to use if you are facing directly into the device. Number two, in some people it is seen that it can actually cause some skin related side effects, excessive skin heat, tenderness, and even acne formation. So if that happens to you, you would definitely want to stop using the device. Number three, it can be seen to actually cause sunburn in some individuals. So if you're getting burn-like reactions secondary to to these panels, immediately stop and follow up with your physician. Number four, you don't want to use this over areas of known cancer. Number five, I would avoid using this if you are currently pregnant, especially over the abdomen. You would want to check with your doctor beforehand. You will also want to be cautious if you're using photosensitizing medications. So there are certain medications like doxycycline, antibiotics, and other immune modulators that will make you sensitive to light. And in those cases, you may want to be very careful of using red light therapy. And lastly, if you notice excessive warmth and irritation to your skin, you're definitely going to want to either avoid use or reduce exposure time. As always, this video is not medical device and is used for general educational purposes. If you have any questions about the safety of red light therapy in yourself, please check with your medical doctor. So does red light therapy work? I'd say yes, there is solid emerging evidence for pain relief and muscle recovery, and the science is quickly catching up. While it is not a miracle treatment, it is a low risk adjunctive treatment that can be a great addition to an active person or athlete's toolkit. If you'd like to explore more about the Juve panels, remember, I am going to leave an affiliate link down below. Use code SONAM for $50 off your first order. If you know of anyone else who may benefit from red light therapy in their lives, make sure to share this video with them. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe for more sport medicine evidence-based content. For now, that's all.